Hello, I'm Bradley Takahashi, and welcome again to Community Corner. You know, I'm really excited tonight. You probably can't tell, but uh, <laughs> I am, uh, to have uh, members of the South Orange Historical and Preservation Society. And, and, and it, as you might guess, they really do all kinds of historical and preservational kind of things. Uh, what we're going to find out tonight. Um, first, uh, I've got Mary Kay Mitchell. That's right. And she's the vice president of this. Uh, South Orange Historical Preservation right. Society. The president was busy, I guess, but mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> so, Mary Kay, can you tell us a little bit about what uh, the, the group does? Well, our main goal is to preserve history, to preserve South Orange especially, because uh, that's our, um, our goal is we have a very historical town. We do. <laughs> and we have beautiful old homes. We have people who lived in this uh, area. And that was Maplewood and South Orange. It wasn't just South Orange. When I say South Orange, it really is Maplewood and South Orange. And you got, it's, it's an entirely volunteer group, right? Yes. yes. Uh, how often do you, do you meet? Once a month. Okay. And we try to have activities going, like we'll have programs such as, well, potluck dinners. Uh, Victorian we dinner. Victorian dinner. We had a tour of Newark, which was really very, very interesting. They did something at Christmas time. They toured in Morristown, uh, the houses that are decorated for Christmas. There's five houses. Donald Craftsman Farms was one of them. So Cra that was a lot of fun. Okay, so Maria, for example, um, you do tours. Um, what, um, what other kinds of things do you preserve here? Like, uh, you know, you, there are a lot of old things. Most of them have to do with my house. So, <laughs> uh, so, so besides going on tours, so, so there's a lot of social aspects about this. You have yeah. classes or lectures you learn about the history of South Orange? We have in the past. We haven't done any lectures lately. We've actually been um, just, well, now we're doing the house tour, and we're working the house solely tour. on that. What's the house tour? What, uh, Carol, maybe you can tell me about the house tour. Well, the house tour is one of the most important things that, that uh, South Orange Historical and Pres Preservation Society does every other year, um, trades with the um, Montrose Association, who does it the other years. And um, this year, it's our year. We're having the house uh, tour of a number, how many houses are there going to uh, be? Six or seven. Six or seven. Oh, you and mentioned the Montrose house tour, right? That's uh, mm -hmm. where they pick like five or six houses in Montrose that right. people have cleaned up, especially for that occasion. Mm -hmm. uh, and you get to tour it and you right. see, boy, how do they keep the houses so clean? Right. Is <laughs> your, your your tours, or is it the same kind of thing? It's comparable. It's just different neighborhoods of South Orange. Ah. This year it's going to be a driving tour and we'll go all, all over South Orange. Oh, so it's not necessarily just of historical houses. Uh, all, almost all houses in South Orange are historical. Any house over 50 years old is not oh, considered. Mine is so historical then. Yes. Yeah. That's great. But so you can be on the tour. Uh, I think yes. once you've seen it, you, 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 you'll well, we can say help you. Well, but it's the architect. <laughs> it's yeah. the architecture. And in South Orange and Maplewood, we have so many unique, so different uh different homes so we're trying to showcase that this year and also learn a, a bit about the history of the house the people that have lived in the house in the yes. past and what their ties to the community were now can I mention something about when we talk about old houses here I, isn't the oldest house in South Orange actually the oldest house in New Jersey yes okay so yes. do you do anything <laughs> special with that house well we've been trying for the last 20 years to save it and it's been totally neglected and that's uh, for those who may not have uh, be aware of it. What, what's it called? The old. It's old Stone House. The by old the Stone, Stone House Brook. Right. right. Yes. And the Stone House Brook was named such before we. The Stone House was. They named the brook after well, the house. The, the house. The house was built prior to 1680. So we don't know the exact date it was built. It's Dutch origin, and it was on the maps when the people moved from Newark. It was settled, you know, from Newark, left Newark in 1680. The house was already here. I, I know. I see you brought a, a, a cute little poster that. Is, that's not the old stone house that's um, on no, there, is it? No, no it's one of our houses for our house oh, tour. Oh, it's one of your houses. One I of see. our featured yeah. houses this year. Yes. I see. If, the if, any of your ca if any of the cameras, I don't know which one, can get a picture of that, it's kind of a cool uh, um, poster. It looks like uh, it looks like that house in Psycho almost, you know, up in the yes. corner. But right? <laughs> it's and, uh, a fabulous it's house. It's yeah, it's, it's just really fabulous. Uh, can, with decorated, like, I, I know you're friends with the Montrose people, but is your tour... Uh, a little better. I mean, do you have better food or something? Uh, what? Uh, uh, no, we're not any better oh, than the Montrose. Right. <laughs> we're equally and good, they're, though. They're yes. not any better than ours. Oh, it's right. no. they're, they're the same but different. 
because yeah. we, yeah, different we spotlight neighborhoods. different neighborhoods. Oh, that's right. Because last time we did it, we went to just the Prospect neighborhood. This year, we're branching out throughout South Orange. Maybe in the future, maybe a different neighborhood. Prospect neighborhood. That's, that's near the high school, right? Is that what you call the Prospect neighborhood? Oh, Prospect Street. They go from Street. South Orange oh, to. Gotcha. Uh, I see. Uh, and there's a neighborhood association over there, close to Our Lady of Sorrows. Yes, mm -hmm. it's kind of the epicenter. Now, you know, you talk about saving the old stone house. Um, uh, have you ever seen that movie, uh, the, the Money Pit, or, you know, Mr. Blandings <laughs> Builds a House? Yes, actually. Yes. That Stone House, <laughs> I, I, I mean, people have been trying to save that for ages, right? And, yes. And it still doesn't have uh, uh, running good plumbing. Uh, the South Orange Historical Group had uh, applied for a grant, and we received $150,000 to start just to stabilize it. Just to stabilize it. So that it would not deteriorate anymore. And then what has happened is it had deteriorated too much. So the 150 was not enough. No. Who owns that right now? The village. The, the village itself. Yeah, no. the village has been maintained, or supposed not to maintaining. be maintained, <laughs> well, not they're, maintaining they're, it for the last... There's a lot of raccoons they're the old, and skunks. They're actually the oldest owners no of the house. No. In the history of the building, they've owned it for more than 50 years. I see. But no. the stone house actually um, is not... The original 1600 house, or in the 1600s, when it was originally built, um, was a small stone house. Over the years, it has been added on to, and has become, a, you know, gone through the Victorian and and all the the various colonial, um, colonial Victorian, and Victorian, uh, and then different ages, and built uh, larger and larger. And but, however, the significance of the stone house is that the original house is it parts of it are m We're still a intact. lot a lot of it is still intact. Mm. And when they talk about raising the roof. They actually took the original structure and raised it when they added a second story. Mm. And so the significance of the house is the longevity and the number and the significant people that have lived in the house as well. That over, it's the history of all of South Orange. In one yeah. little microcosm. I mean, yeah, as it really is. The house it echoed mm -hmm. the changing of the community mm -hmm. from like the stone a house to a farm. Or Trappers, or right. yeah. hunters, and then. Uh, well, you know, I'm just thinking. Uh, I hear that uh, South Orange is going to be uh, 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 reassessing all our properties. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I, I, a word: uh, you should not do any improvements until after you get reassessed. <laughs> uh, at least that's what people have told me. Anyway, so then, what would be the goal once you get the stone house, you know, saved? Or uh, can we have parties there, or what? Oh, that's that's a good idea. Yeah. And you know, it's really yet to be determined. We don't. Mm -hmm. it, we don't have an ultimate goal of we want a museum here, or you know, and that had been brought there up in the past. There have been some different ideas, yeah. though. Uh, the, the, perhaps the police station the would. I like station to use part of it. Wants to use parts of it for offices. The historic society wants to use parts of it, possibly, or maybe uh, some other uses that are being discussed at this time that are uh, not not clear. So, but I mean, the goal is to to keep the building preserved. Okay. Now, and to use you know, it as an educational use. and uh, a significant house that everyone can enjoy and have it open for people to, to understand and to, to educate uh, centuries from now. Yeah. Uh, the, the same way that now the house tour, um, we are highlighting in the house tour significant houses that could someday, if they last that long, could someday be something like the old stone house. That's I mean, the, the oh, beauty of. Okay. Now, can I ask you? Um, this it's, it entails a lot of money. So mm -hmm. you do mm -hmm. fundraisers. Is the house tour your main fundraiser each year? It is. This year, it's more into educating people uh, for the to preserve our history here in South Orange. We need to educate our town people mm -hmm. to jump on the bandwagon here. Uh, we just aren't raising any money for the stone house at this for this particular the house tour is going for actually education education okay mm -hmm. and um, uh, are you are you a tax exam like if I'd give you a check for like say eight yes. dollars eight dollars yes. I mean would yes. that be a tax deductible <laughs> yes. Thing? yes okay yes. eight eight hundred mm -hmm. eight dollars yeah. I think I think we have to get money from um, corporations uh -huh. you know Grants. This is where the money is going to come to help preserve yeah. this. I mean, initially we just mm -hmm. needed stabilized, and then we could go forward with the plan. But right mm -hmm. now, it's in danger of collapsing. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, how are um, besides, I guess, the obvious of helping to raise money? I mean, even this this house tour thing. Um, 
can you use volunteers? I mean, is this is a group that anybody can join, and yes, is is it like one of those things though that when you join, your 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 spouse never sees you again, or no? I mean, is it fairly flexible? <laughs> well, sometimes I mean, can, we, you know, you know can I <laughs> we include the spouses if they'd like to. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, you you said a monthly meeting, but there's it, it, there's probably it sounds as if you're rather free form also in the sense that. Uh, as different projects come up, people can get involved. I mean, do you have different exactly. committees? Or right. Exactly. We have mm -hmm. um, you know, like the Stone House itself is probably a big project. Right. Um, do you have anything to do with the, uh, what's the, the, the house in Maplewood? Can I say that word? Yeah, yes, Maplewood. Durant. 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 Right. Durant. 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 She's very I'm involved in there. it. You're on yes, board well. that, too. Um, but you're, uh, you're a separate group from the Durant House? Uh, we people? think we should really do more yeah. things together. We're actually working to do that. You yeah. know, communicate back mm -hmm. and forth, let each, let, you know, each other know what's going on. Yeah, okay. And then I know in Maplewood there are other, there's the Timothy Ball House. There's a few of these houses I've seen on the map as being 1700s and before. What else in South Orange is there besides the old stone house that's of that era? Well, we have uh, Seton Hall itself was built back in the mm -hmm. 1850s about. Right. Brian's house. We have five um, structures in South Orange that are on the national um, and state historic registers. And one is on, in, uh, on the Seton Hall campus, one is the uh, firehouse, one is the train station, one is the um, village hall, yep. and the stone house. Oh, so, no, so interestingly enough, no, no private homes, unlike in Maplewood, where there's three or four private homes that are... Well, this was a private home. The old stone house yeah, was, yes, a, was private a private home. home. That's true. I mean, we could call it the Brewer house, we could call it the Pearson's house, we could call it the unknown house, you know, um, Nathan Williams, the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nathaniel Wheeler, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. That was the first. Mm -hmm. you know, All of these are that very significant uh, people that have made South Orange what it is today. So, I but see. there are other homes that you know exist from the mm -hmm. 1700s. Mm -hmm. Right now, in fact, if somebody wanted uh, to to learn about the history of those families, for example, you don't. There is no repository or any place in town that they can go and get this information, right? Yes, do you, they do can. You, is there? Yes, you go well, to the library. Oh, and library and okay. has, has the documents for the mm -hmm. nomination, so it's all there. But they have historical books. I mean, yeah. they have okay. books that have been written about South Orange. There's quite but, a bit. But, yeah. for example, your it seems like a natural that your organization would be the kind of place that would have this information. You don't have your own physical place, No, we right? don't, and we, no. we should. Yeah. Yeah, this is we what need. we'd like to move on to. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely. It's just a changing of a guard. Different people are in charge, and there's no really s place to keep. We need a museum, a small museum, some place where we right. can keep our historical. So we have to. You, so you do have some stuff right now, but yes. it's just in, in each of your houses or something. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, huh. Maybe we can come up with a solution. Like yes. Next, uh, <laughs> part of the show. We're what actually thinking of, uh, we're working with eyes on the Connet uh, Library, the old library. Yes. And uh, we're th we're we're thinking of sharing the space with them and having part museum there. We also are starting our house tour on Scotland at um, the at Connet, Connet Library. You right. can come there and buy your tickets. Okay. And we're also having uh, a tour of Town Hall. Okay. You they know have what? historical pictures in there that the South Orange was involved in getting set up there. All right. You know, we're going to take a little break and come right okay. back. Uh, I hope you all three come back to join us. Stay with us. Uh, I hope the rest of you out there will uh, come back in a minute or so. Um, until then, let's take a break. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> What is that thing? Looks like somebody's double chin. Must have lost it snacking on fruits and vegetables. Hmm. <clears throat> Somebody's gonna trip on that. Mm -hmm. Hello, Bradley Takahashi. I'm back again with the rest of Community Corner. And look at this, what happened while we were gone. Um, uh, I, I have no idea what this is, but Maria, you're going to tell me. And um, uh, why don't you give me a little 
Well, this is our unveiling of the Old Stone House model. This is the first time you can really see what the house is supposed to look like. And this is the first time anyone's seen it. It's, it's, it's amazing because I thought I knew what the Old Stone House looked like. It's the one right by the police station, South Orange Police Station, mm -hmm. South Orange Avenue, this South mm -hmm. Orange Avenue. But I don't remember anything that looks at all like that. Uh, <laughs> so is this like what it used to look like, what it's supposed to look like? This is what it looked at at the height of, height of its glory. No. I, Victoria, I understand you're the model maker. Our, our office uh, was the model maker, CR Studio Architects. And um, we were brought into the picture through um, someone in the community, Nancy Glazier, who contacted me. And uh, I saw an opportunity here in terms of it's a wonderful chance to restore something, help a group restore something. Well, how, that's can you, how did you figure out, I mean, how do you know that's what the house looks like? Because if you drive <laughs> by today, yeah, I, I'm telling you, this is like, if somebody tried to put this on the real estate sign and said, this is the house, and we went there, you'd get sued. I mean, it looks, how, how do you know that's what it looks well, like? Well, we, we took pictures of what, what's there right now. Okay. And there were some drawings that had been made uh, to restore the roof. And then there was lots and lots of photographs that people have taken over the years through, through the history of the house. There's a lot of historic um, images, and so just looking at that and picturing it, you know, putting it together through just images of the families that live there. Uh -huh. um, you could see pieces of the porch and some of the details and really understand. And um, so in, 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 in turning you on to all those sources, uh, this uh, uh, Historical and Preservation Society has all these resources or was able to point to where, where these things are? Yeah, there's a, such a great network of people that would be sending us all different kinds of information. So yeah, I, I put out the word in the Historic Society and the community to, um, and we got a lot of pictures together and we got a lot of pictures from the um, people that used to live in this house and we could see um, wallpaper on the walls and you know some of the furniture and how things were set up and because right now you can't even walk into the house right it's it's too dangerous is that what it is that's yeah. what we're told right yeah. now that things have deteriorated so much that um, we're not the the village has told us we're not allowed to go in there wouldn't it be funny if we if we went there right now without <laughs> telling anybody I'll bet you Calabrese and his buddies are in there right now playing cards <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, so can, maybe can you? Uh, we won't spend a whole lot of time on this sure. because I, I I love little models like that. I can't believe there's jobs that you get to do that. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. I'm so excited about this. What's uh, um, can you point yeah, out the various the sure. stages? You said the you know the the old part, the not so old part, sure. etc. Sure. So um, what you're seeing here, this whole gray bottom part, is the stone portion of it. So that's the oldest. That's the 17th century. A portion of the house uh -huh. and that was just a one-story structure made out of stone it had some kind of a roof on it at one point and then this portion here this zone right here is the um, 18th century so that was added on top of the stone structure and worked into that and then this whole portion is of the 19th century mm. addition so and every time something was added to it there was some transition working from one time zone to the other basically in terms of styles of the house and um, we made it so you could you know take it apart and look at different this model you can actually lift yeah. up the roof and yeah. oh, so did, did that house ever have electricity and running water oh sure well, absolutely yeah well, I mean well, this is 19th century so it, there's definitely oh they had TVs and those <laughs> no, I guess not. But no. so I mean, how? <laughs> what is it? Yeah, that's old. But like, they made so books. Okay. what's the uh, <laughs> right? Patrolas. Yeah. yeah. I mean, how recent was this thing actually inhabited by something other than raccoons? Up until about 1950. Oh, 1950. Oh, yeah. I was alive yeah. then. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So the Board of Education had it up to, until 1950, and yeah. then uh, when they left, the um, what are they, they I had it till. 1983. Oh, oh, no, the Board mm -hmm. of Ed moved in in 1950. Mm -hmm. uh, a family lived here up until 1950. And then the Board of Ed moved in until the 80s. And then... They wrecked it up. No, oh, they, okay. they, they at least utilized it. I see. Yeah, okay. okay. And, uh, but then 
since they moved out in 1980. It hasn't been occupied so since then. So actually, in the last 20 some years, yes. uh, it's yeah. been empty. And, and, and just in that little bit of time, yes. it's totally, it's really falling apart. Right? Well, nothing has been maintained. No, There's uh, no with, been basic. With any structure, if you don't live in it, maintain it, right. care for it, <coughs> um, it will deteriorate. Right. And especially if the roof starts to deteriorate, uh, then water just can get right through. And the South Orange Historical <coughs> Society has been trying for that entire 20, 20 years to get um, some care taken uh, to at least uh, keep the water damage out. In fact, we spent quite a bit of money to cover the, the roof at one point, but that uh, tarp, heavy, uh, long term, well, the best tarp you can get has also deteriorated. Uh -huh. So, uh, is that what is that what the uh, genesis of the historical society was uh, galvanized by this project, or had you guys been in existence before then? It was galvanized actually because of the rectory for St. Andrew's Church at the corner of Ridgewood and uh, South Orange Avenue, on the uh, caddy corner of what is now where you see the St. Andrew's Church. Yes, caddy corner from that. It was a beautiful structure that they used for the rectory. And because that was torn down, that's what galvanized the um, residents in South Orange. You thought, so if that place goes down, my house is next. Well, well. I wasn't here at this, that time, but there were some uh, people that <coughs> have, are still involved in the South Orange Historical Society that were here at that time. And, um, you know, it's kind of like in New York City when they tore down Penn Station, right. Right. Yeah. you know, uh, it's, it's, it's us, and especially this house more than any other structure. This is the entire history of South Orange from, it, it was on the maps in the 1600s, and the people that have lived in the house uh, during, yeah. I see them. Yeah. Um. <laughs> What's well, amazing that the people who lived in it last are still alive. Yes. And can talk about Mm -hmm. what, mm. how they lived in it and how they yeah. used it, and there's pictures of their we, families. We have a map down in the front there. Uh, uh, if you can get that, uh, it's it's kind of a cool map that I think uh, is uh, the originals in the Village Hall, Town Hall, and it's right. uh, I don't know what vintage is that map. Uh, That's 1877. That one is 1877, and uh, we have another map from um, 1904, both of which are on sale at are s sold by the Historical Society, but uh, the important thing right now that the Historic Society is working on is the house tour. Okay. And the house tour is going to be I May 5th. May 5th. And, um, Which is what day of the week is that? Like a Sunday? Saturday. 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 Saturday, May 5th uh, this year. And um, the maps will be on sale at the um, Conant Library. Conant, what's that? What, are you, are you <coughs> mentioned that before. The, oh, the Conant Library, what do you mean by that? Which one is that? The Conant Library is the currently the Eyes Building. It's the building next to the it's South Orange Library. Next to the current library. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. And this model will be on show um, where you have to buy your tickets for the house tour. And that's in that Conant Library building? Yes, right yes. across from Village Hall. Yep. Okay. So we'll have parking at Village Hall and at the library. And what are, uh, what are the usual hours of that Conant Library that you can come in and look at the model, uh, buy, buy copies of those maps, or, or what well, are they we open? Don't, well, we this would be during the house tour. Oh, during yeah. the house tour, just yes. on that day. Yeah, we don't yeah. have a permanent space I, there I see. yet. So in other words, on the day of that house tour, which is May 5th, 5th, 5th. Um, between 11 o'clock or 4 or something like that, right. uh, which you can go to the uh, website, which we'll put on the program at the end, and you get details of the house through there, right? Yes. Exactly. And uh, you just go there, you go to the library, the Conant Library, mm -hmm. and you'll pick up the little map and you pay for your admission and uh, you can buy copies of uh, uh, those old historical maps. Right. Yes. And see okay. what's going to happen to the old stone house. And see yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully we have some more information yeah, by <laughs> then. <laughs> what's, uh, how many houses on the tour this year? Approximately seven houses. And uh, how, how do you guys choose the seven houses are there is there a lot of competition to get on that list or uh, do you do drive-bys and go we'd like to have your house do most people take that as 
are they flattered or do they go, oh my God, I'm going to have to clean up the house? It's a combination of both. <laughs> it's both. Yeah, it really is. Some people have contacted us saying we want to do this. Yeah. And other people, we contact. I mean, I, I, I would pay you not to bring people to my house, probably. <laughs> you know, what's, um, just because it's such a mess. Um, uh, so you never have problems uh, finding people who are willing to, uh, to, to have their houses on tour? You ever had problems in the past? No. No. We've, we've had a good um, set of, well this year especially, I think the, uh, we have some extremely significant houses already uh, lined up and I, I think there's a few that are not quite settled, mm -hmm. but will be, um, you know, within days, so. Um, we have such a great collection of styles. Yeah. In town, uh, so you have houses. plenty of houses to choose from. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Now, do you, um, can you still use some help even in with respect to the house tour? Are there, uh, is there room for more volunteers? Either do people from the society help man the houses, uh, act as docents, so to That's speak? That's exactly yes. what we need. We need lots of volunteers to come out and help us that day or before or leading up to that time. Mm -hmm. We especially need docents to be at the houses. There's tons of ways to get involved. We have a whole list on our website oh, of what well, you can do. A list so on our website, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we also have some sneak peeks of houses that may be on the tour if you go to our website. Oh, that'd yeah. be good. Sneak peeks. Sneak peeks. I like those. <laughs> we don't want to, like, you know, reveal everything. Okay. So um, you, there's always a call for volunteers. And it sounds like you, you, you all have a, a, a good time doing this. Uh, it's a, a, lot, a great group of people, people that are very passionate, very interesting, good way to meet new people in the community. How big is this group uh, in terms of, you know, a dozen, couple dozen? I, I know it probably varies de well, depending on the activity. Yeah, it depends on who's paid their dues, but... Uh, uh, oh, dues! <laughs> Wait a second. How, how much are the dues? Dues are, are a drop in the bucket. Okay. Dues are very cheap. Like, but, like, um, like $8? Uh, well, a little, a little bit higher. higher. Yeah. <laughs> but over the years, inflation has caught up, but right. um, <laughs> there's um, basically... We need people that, that really want to get involved and um, have an interest in history of any kind and um, want to help publicize uh, some of the fantastic um, history and educate the uh, community, people who are, have a lot of questions. The legacy that we have here. The in this legacy. Yeah. Such a rich Everybody history. Everybody wants to know about their, their own home. Mm -hmm. And I think... Um, that's why the house tour is so uh, educational, too. It's, it shows, it opens up significant houses that help. Okay, well, you know what? Um, this is, uh, this is exciting bringing this thing in. Um, we're very proud we of this. Because we on those two doors to bring it in, but uh, <laughs> we're, we're about running out of time, uh, which is too bad, because uh, I'm sure I would love you for you to take the roof off and show us the inside. I but, you want to uh, see it? Well, yeah, we can yeah, do that. Yeah, you know, what, well, as we wrap up, uh, why don't you lift it up because they'll run the credits and whatnot. But I just want to thank you all for, for all the efforts that you make to sort of keep history alive in our town. And and uh, once I, uh, it sounds like I might be able to afford that house tour. I think you know. Uh, maybe not the dues <laughs> to join, but uh, that, that'll be great. And I, best of luck of that. And uh, uh, can't wait to see the old stone house really look like that in uh, a few uh, few years. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah, let's take a look at this thing. Okay, it's a little strange.